Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the average speed. Now the average speed um, is something that you might want to be um, using a lot during say sports science um, to calculate how fast an athlete might be running or even within physics when you're looking at the motion of bodies such as planets or even cars and even electrons. So the first thing we want to do is look at the average speed in more detail. Um, the average speed relates to, so we've got V bar which denotes average speed. And it is pretty much the change in distance. So what we, what I would do, I would denote distance by delta d. Okay. And the time interval, the change in time that it takes for that body or the car or the athlete to run that distance. So you've basically got distance divided by time. Now imagine if we've got a sprinter who does say 100 meters. So delta D is 100 meters. And if we look at now the time that um, this distance is ran within, we can say plausible time would be say 10 seconds um, now if we input these values into our equation here we see that we have a hundred divided by 10 okay Now, all we have to do now is just divide the 100 by the 10 and we just have to cancel the zeros. So we cancel this zero and we cancel that zero and that leaves 10. And if you look at the units, meters is on the top but seconds is on the bottom. So we have meters per second, okay? Now, whenever you have units on the bottom like that that are divisors, then they just acquire a negative one on the index just to show that it's a divider, okay? And that's 10 seconds, which is um, basically your speed, I'm sorry, 10 meters per second, which is your average speed run during that 100 meters. And that's basically how to calculate the average speed.